I'm going to do the ping really quick, but hello, everybody. Sounds Welcome good. in. Um, we will get this race started in just a few moments. Okay, Hollow Knight community announcements. Any person tourney ping. Hiroshi versus Apress. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's doing well today. I am Oatmeal, joined by my co-com, Sid Flippy. Hello. Everyone say hi, Sid. <laughs> hi, Sid. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we have our two runners today, Kuroshi94 and A-Press. They are teammates in the ongoing rando tourney, but... Day they face off in latest patch any percent should be quite an exciting race um i guess i will see if our racers are ready oh our wonderful restreamer is taking care of that so we'll get this race going Neat. in just a minute um we have a press so both runners on patch 1432 but a press will be doing the spore shroom route kuroshi opting for the queen's gardens route unfortunately no ismas today from either runner <laughs> <laughs> is is there anyone in the tourney who's doing ismas <laughs> i don't think so probably for <laughs> that the best that would be wild <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, should be a really good race though. I think uh, A Press had taken quite a long hiatus from speedrunning any percent, um, so their PB is not fully reflective of their capability. So uh, mm. we should see a pretty good race here. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, as a KP enjoyer, Sid, what do you think your favorite part of King's Pass is? Ooh, I'm a big fan of the uh, the turnaround right okay. at the beginning because. If that turnaround's good, I know that I can greet everything else, but if I miss it, then I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Had yeah, a small so... freeze from AP there, but it looks good mm -hmm. now. Might now we've got a sink. nice sink. Yeah. yeah. So Perfect. that first turnaround right there, very nice. This one right here. Ooh, good this turnaround from out. both runners. Jinky's doing. Yeah. Hopefully wow, Jinky's okay. close by. <laughs> oh, almost the same spawn from both. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching the same ahead. <laughs> <I Yeah>. <laughs> Very nice. Nobody going for RNG softball SMH. Mm -hmm. Sad. And Looks we'll like see it should these be a times. good 57 or 56 from both of them. Oh, I'd love to see a 56. Mm -hmm. Nice. Low 57 for Crow. Two 57s. Yep. Um, so we here will in be this... seeing... Go ahead. I was just going to say we will be seeing a lot of uh, the hardfall cancels here today uh, since both runners are running on 1432. Uh, there's a lot of inventory knockback and uh, hardfall canceling that we'll see. Um, I think A-Press will be doing another one here shortly as he enters as well. Um, and it'll also come in handy uh, during the sports from THK fight later on, but you will see that later. Yeah, very nice from both runners. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll see our runners make their way over to collect Vengeful Spirit, which is our main damage output for the race. Apress taking an unfortunate hit there in the Grez drop. Groshi getting a bit luckier and getting the inventory drop all the way down. Should give him a slight, slight lead. Widening that 0.4 second gap out of KP. <laughs> and a very nice double spike kill from both runners. Nice. Um, so this part of the run, you know, itemless movement, you're going to just see a lot of really tight jumps, um, clean turnarounds, and overall pretty optimized movement from both runners. Um, but there shouldn't be a lot of uh, differences, I guess, in the, the VS split so far. Um, and good thing to note as well, um, inventory drops are frame perfect on latest patch, so um, you'll see our runners go for them, but they're not as free as they are if you're more familiar with speedrunning on 1221. But two very nice statue pogos there um, mm -hmm. from both of our runners as we head into the False Knight arena. We'll see what kind of RNG 
we're getting today from False Knight. We're looking for left jumps is uh, the better of the two. Yes. So hopefully False Knight will cooperate. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks like we're that, pretty even. Yeah, I also know that A-Press is very into collecting early Geo, and it looks like he's a bit low, so we'll see if he takes a second here to walk back to collect some more of this. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, wow, this is a very nice uh, yeah. false night exit from Kuroshi. Mm -hmm. 309 is very good, yes. Yeah, is that a 41? Should be a 41, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. A-Press with a 315. Like Should be closer to maybe a 47, I think. Assuming they can land this uh, hardest mm -hmm. jump in the game right here in Ancestral Mound. Yep. We'll see. Hold your Jumping breath, chat. Collective, yes. <laughs> Perfect. She, uh, 10 out of 10. Great. <laughs> and AP right behind. Oh, stumbling a little bit, but not too bad. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So nice. as we head into Ancestral Mound here, <clears throat> um, we'll encounter our next bit of RNG. Um, and it can be a really frustrating bit, uh, that's the uh, Balder Spits, so we need four fireballs um, to kill a Balder. We only have the ability to cast three with our full soul meter, so um, we have to wait for the Balder to spit out, or we have to wait for the Elder Balder to spit out a Balder. Um, yeah. And so we'll see what kind of RNG Kuroshi gets here. Ooh, one, Oop. two, ooh, three, three four, fourth, fourth bit. bit. Not the worst, but not the yeah. best. And a -press a getting it. Mm. I mean, that could be making up some time there for a -press. Yeah, definitely at least two or three seconds here. Mm -hmm. Nice going for the best drop. inventory drop. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then up ahead, entering Green Path, we will encounter another Balder. So we'll see our runners getting to full soul so that they can take care of this next Balder that's guarding the entrance to Green Path. Kuroshi getting a nice pattern, and so is Apris. So nice. Easy soul collection for both runners. And we have to wait and see how many Balder spits yeah. here as well. Third, third spit. Third for Kuroshi. And a second spit again for A-Press, so nice. A-Press getting a little bit of the RNG at the, the beginning here. Should be a 532 for A-Press and a 528 for Crouchy, Hunter and Green Path. Nice. Oh. So, um, coming up here in Green Path, we'll pretty much see the runners just gathering soul. Um, and, you know, Gathering soul for like X trick, insert yeah. trick here. So the first one will be a fireball skip. Um, you know, Kuroshi said they've been practicing one fireballs here, so let's oh, see if they go for eyes. it. Nope, oh, a little bit too far fireballs. there. But a clean skip nonetheless, yeah. two fireball from A press as well. A press like... a little bit lower on soul, but hopefully, yeah, yeah. getting the two hits there. Um, and Kuroshi going bottom route, so probably not going for a one fireball here. Ooh. Yeah, this oh, is you the hate to see it. Yeah. Hope it oh, A-Press missing the jump as well. Going for the, oh, wow. going for the backup and missing it. I think but he it, may be a little bit too slow now for the, uh, yeah, for the bounce. For the yeah. Bounce. Oh, nice. Oh. It's very nice. Still in a decent position. Good. Nails it. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta take out some anger on those mask lights, <laughs> you know. Oh, missing the oh, double. Yeah. yeah. We'll see how this goes it. for A press. Oh, A press with a slightly different strat. I've never seen Very that. nice, yeah. Yeah. So coming up, we will see the Vengefly King quick kill. Um, it's mainly a source of Geo. Oh, Kuroshi getting hit there, but still getting the, uh, the quick kill before. Yeah. The boss had his chance to scream. 
Nice. And then they press Very having nice. no trouble at all. Mm -hmm. uh, you do want 220 Geo here leaving um, Hornet. And it looks like those runners have plenty, so that's very good to see. Very nice, yeah. And we, we will pick up our dash ability from Hornet, um, which will help us move a little bit faster throughout the run. Still fairly even. Um, not too much of a gap, although you'll see that uh, probably change a bit as we go further into some of the later parts of the run, but yeah. As Sid mentioned, Apress has improved quite a bit um, since his mm -hmm. PB, so... Kuroshi getting a really good pattern there with the uh, Hornet just kind of staying in the corner and um, able to deal a lot of that damage, and nice. uh, Apress is not too far behind either. Yeah, definitely. Clean fights from both yeah. runners. Heading into Claw here, which is Apress's favorite split. <laughs> And also Kuroshi's, I think. Oh, no way. Yeah. They they love the fungal movement. Yeah. It's also uh, definitely one of the most consistent splits in the game. True, uh, There's yeah. not really any RNG at all, so it's very nice uh, and refreshing to see that here. <laughs> Especially in a game that's notorious for it. Yeah. I did have a, I had a real life friend ask me this, but uh, they were asking why uh, runners do these jumps before ledges a lot of the time, and the reason for that is actually pre-jumping uh, increases your fall speed earlier on. Um, so that's uh, an interesting point to note as well. Yeah. Um, and so we'll see our runners collecting a little bit of soul here. I think they both should be going for one fireball variants of the E Pogo. Mm -hmm. Um, an A-Press nailing that final Setic Slash that Kuroshi missed a bit, but it shouldn't cost them too much time. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're headed here to pick up our wall jump ability, Mantis Claw. We'll see this E-Pogo from Kuroshi. You press getting a hard wall there and Kuroshi nailing the Epoko. Very nice. And uh, then we'll see Kuroshi collecting some soul here again to do a quick kill on this Mantis before hitting the lever to open up the path to Mantis Claw. Kuroshi missing the uh, double dash there, but gets a nice backup. Yeah, very nice backup. A press, meanwhile, nailing Epogo as well. Heading for Mantis Pogo. Ooh, misses this is the in a very mantis. similar way. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Not quite able to get the back up there, but... Yeah. Yeah. A little oh. bit unfortunate with this. Nice. Okay. Not too bad. There you go. Yeah, that'll definitely widen the gap for, for Crow here in the early game. Yeah, definitely. Um... So next up, we are headed to Grez Mother and then into Blue Lake. Uh, on the way, we'll pick up some soul, and then we also will see the runners stop to buy Crossroads Stag for later in the run. Um, but we set up the Grez Mother quick kill by collecting six hits of soul for two casts. Um, and then, yeah, the split isn't super... Uh, it's not super complex, but I feel like it can be kind of a like a time sink if you, you know, mm -hmm. if kind of little things go wrong depending on how Gruz Mother moves and the uh, how cleanup goes and then what, you know, if you get a shade fireball or something. Kind yeah. of, there are a lot of little things that can go wrong here. <laughs> so we'll see Kuroshi's Gruz Mother right now. This a press is picking up crossroads stag. Mm -hmm. Good pattern for Kuro here too. Yeah, very nice. Um, and Gruz Mother conveniently gives us 50 geo to make up for the 50 we just spent on crossroads stag, and we will use that geo to purchase shaman stone from Salupra. Ooh, kind of a rough cleanup. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah. Clean kill, kill. Here from Apress and both runners getting all 50 of their geo, nothing getting stuck in the ceiling or walls. You love, love to see, see it. 
Nice cleanup there. Too. Ooh, yeah, Just that one grezzer flipped but, out. Yeah. And we'll see again here, Kuroshi is utilizing uh, inventory knockback cancels when taking damage. It prevents you from getting pushed away so you can kind of progress left and right a bit faster uh, to die and set up for the shade skip here. Yep, so we will be headed on into blue lake. And no shade fireball. Very nice. Yes. Um, also note, both our runners rescued Sly. That's so we can purchase the Lumafly Lantern later to get into Crystal Peak. Yep. So we'll see AP going for the shade skip here. Oh, Ooh. getting a fireball right away. Oh, and taking one hit. Okay, time to rebench, which is good, I yeah, think. Nice cause... backup, yeah. Yeah. Really good backup. Yeah, this next part, um, picking up Dream Nail, there are no enemies or anything where you can take damage, but the following split into um, City of Tears can be pretty brutal with um, yeah. yeah, taking damage. So you definitely want to be going in on full health as mm -hmm. much as you can. In my opinion. We'll also see uh, Kuroshi here hopefully going for a dream dash, which is a cool trick where you will dash out over the platforms before they start spawning. Uh, it is a bit risky, but it saves a bit of time. Um, but I'm sure we'll be seeing Kuroshi going for it here. The vibes seem right. Yep. Very nice. Very I don't clean. think A-Press will go for it, but... Yeah, I don't... I'm not sure. I don't think so. too far behind. Definitely a lot of time left in the run here. For sure. Looks like a mid to high 1x time for Kuroshi, which is quite good in a new reset setting like this. Yeah. Very good. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. here comes Seer Skip. Oh, Ooh. nice. Very Kuroshi clean getting Seer early skip. control by pausing and exiting before Seer has the time to interrupt you with dialogue. Yeah, Apress having a little bit of trouble on Dream Plats, but overall mm -hmm. making it through without a dunk, which is mm -hmm. very I'll costly time wise. For. And we'll see if... I'm pretty sure A-Press goes for Seer Skip as well. Mm -hmm. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. I think both runners are also doing Rafters route, so we will see them both uh, exiting um, King Station here to the left after collecting uh, a Relic and some Soul on the way. Um, so a question in chat, would there be a reason not to go for it? I mean, some runners might not be as comfortable with it. Um, mm -hmm. so I guess you can always go for it and then, you mm -hmm. know, maybe you mess up or you don't dash all the way out of the room yeah. and you still dash a little bit, but I mean, I would think, I guess, lack of experience or practice mm -hmm. with it would be the main reason why someone wouldn't go for it in a run. And I think failing it only loses about three seconds if you get the inventory drop right after, so there is a mm -hmm. nice backup. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps accidentally white screening is a reason to not go for it. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't, yeah. You just need to make sure you're standing up before you exit the room. Um, so we saw Kuroshi there collecting 420 Geo from Gorgeous Husk. Um, so I'm curious to see if she takes this safety bench inspire here. Um, because a death in this next segment is quite painful because mm -hmm. you would need to shade skip again, so um, all of your geo. Yeah, you you would and be she, oh, she taking and bench. here's the safety bench. Yeah. This does change the uh, cycle for Great House Sentry Kill here, so we'll see if she's able to. Uh, get Any that bench done. cycle enjoyers very take nice. notes? Yeah, very clean so far. You love to see a safety oh, bench in a race setting. Very, very clean. clean, very clean yeah. GHS kill. Ooh. <laughs> nice. 
Eight press. press probably also taking the same yeah. advantage. Yeah, yeah. But nice left side climbs from both runners. Mm -hmm. And Kuroshi entering uh, Watcher Knights with almost full soul, which is quite nice. Yeah. And you can get a, a first hit before the knight even spawns in, so it should be basically three fireballs anyways. I think uh, Kuro goes for the first pogo. Apress having a little bit more trouble with this uh, Great House Sentry, but not taking damage, which is definitely ideal for the mm -hmm. Watchers. Yeah, yeah so first she does get that first pogo and sets her up for her full soul. Um, yes, both runners are on 1432. Mm -hmm. Very nice, first so Watcher kill. we won't see kill. any back rolls either. True, yeah. This is good. Koshi's showing off a lot of these pogos. They're a bit tight uh, if you're not used to them, so... Very nice to see her hitting them. And A-Press heading into the fight as well. Yep. A little bit less soul. Uh, not opting for a dream meal before the fight. But I think she we will be okay. Ooh, and a little bit of a desync here this for this last pair. pair over on Kroshi's side, but mm -hmm. I don't think it's too, too bad, especially with yeah. the last one rolling right away like that. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It's Sounds good. Cool. And Croshi's exiting at around 1733, which is quite good. So, yeah, it seems like Apress has had a little bit of trouble here with Watchers. Um, again, okay, well, maintaining the sink kind of by the skin of his teeth here. Um, which, you know, is oh. not... Ooh. Down, ooh, oh, AP taking no. death to that Watcher, giving an instant balance. Thankfully has the safety band, so can make his way back quickly now. Yeah. That will be unfortunate since it was, I think, the last, last pair. It was the last pair, yeah. That's super rough. Mm -hmm. Has to wait for this elevator, but collecting some soul in the meantime. Yeah. Um, so we'll see Apress gathering his shade, um, that safety bench coming very much in handy, and taking a second try at this Watcher's fight, um, while Kuroshi heads out of city, um, or not out of city, what am I talking about? <laughs> heads Kuroshi over to doing... Rafters. <laughs> Kuroshi doing the, the fun inventory drop there where the elevator pushes you up. Uh, thankfully, not getting softlocked like some other runners might have done <laughs> earlier on in the tournament. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Apress struggling a bit here to keep both of the Watcher Knights on the same side of the arena, which is really what you want to see. Um, yeah. The strat is kind of to stack them up together so you can deal damage to them at the same time, namely with your fireball, using your nail to mostly gather soul. Um, but into the final pair with a little now bit more three HP health. Than last time. Yeah, but more HP than last time. And we'll see Kuroshi heading over to Rafters. So this is a relatively new reroute. Um, oh, AP is on one HP it's again, but fine. It's, still... it's fine. <laughs> okay, GG A press. Um, yeah, a relatively new, um, reroute, uh, this rafter skip here. And we will see a right side attempt. Looking good, lots of height. Ooh! Just barely. So we'll see the left side back up. Oh, but on one oh, HP. Oh, taking too no, much damage. Yeah, we're going for the elevator. Go around. That's rough. So Raptors, very fair. Yeah, yeah, definitely a good heal. Um, you gotta practice that elevator pogo backup. I yeah. think it's a, it's a good backup to have in your pocket. Yeah. Especially in a no reset setting, <laughs> as Sid mentioned. Definitely. 
Um, we will see Apress go for the Rafter Skip as well. Um, and that just lets us pick up a relic faster. Um, save some time over the traditional route of picking up the relic on top of King Station. Um, and then Kuroshi selling relics here to Lem to get enough money for the Lumafly Lantern and um, also to help with uh, purchasing some things through the rest of the run. Do you think uh, AP also mentioned that he's running on 150 FPS, which makes the right side a bit easier? Um, and he's got some cool strats that I think are slightly different from what Kuroshi does, so we'll see something different from, from AP. Yeah. Um, I think, is the number the same on LP? Is it 2367 that you want, or like about that with <laughs> rafters? I definitely have no idea. <laughs> How much okay. share you're supposed to have. Yeah, so I think Kuroshi have, was a little yeah. short. Mm -hmm. 2357. Okay, so yeah, it makes sense that they went for Lever Lads Geo there. Yeah. Kuroshi doing some wiggles here to activate the stag bell a little bit early. For some reason, <laughs> that happens. And Apress going to be heading out here to Rafters in just a minute. Ah, that was close. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> <laughs> and AP entering Rafters while Kroshi is buying Lantern here and heading into Peaks. Oh, oh, okay. So here is the okay. start, the new strat, yeah. The backup. AP has been going for... Yeah, very clean. Nice. Very clean. Yeah, oh, nice. so the Vengeflies can move around a bit more um, during loads on 1432. So, and on 1.5, I think. But um, so there is a nice backup that we just saw from Apress um, in case the Vengefly is not in a good position. Yeah. Hiroshi getting uh, one hit of damage there on the Vengefly room, which is honestly not that bad. That room can definitely bully people. Yeah. And we will see Kroshi going for a Pogax here. Hopefully she gets some some good RNG. Uh, you want the miner in the room to walk to the right immediately. If it walks left, it can kind of take a second to throw the, the axe. And we see a good pattern. Very Ooh. Nice. Oh. oh no. Backup? There nice. There you go. Nice backup. Very nice backup. Very good backup. <laughs> Apress also opting for the Lever Lads Geo. Mm -hmm. Um, and he will be heading over to purchase the lantern and then head into Crystal Peak. Mm -hmm. He's on 2 that. HP here again, which is scarily reminiscent of yesterday. <laughs> but very nicely passing the spot that he died in his last race. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we'll see Kuroshi go for some inventory drops here in these longer falls mm -hmm. down to the Crystal Heart Gauntlet. Very nice. Nice getting the second one, not going for the first one. Yeah, and so Kuroshi will go down to 1 HP here intentionally. Um, just taking a damage uh, to... Oh, maybe opting to go for damageless, actually. Damageless? Okay. Yeah, yeah nice. good call. Good call. Smart, yeah. Yeah, so there is a cycle where you take a hit intentionally and it gets you a bit of a faster cycle, but um, there is a slightly slower, safer strat where you do not take any damage and you still get a pretty nice cycle. So good to see strats adjusted, you know, backups in place mm -hmm. for for attorney setting. Kroshi mm -hmm. is quitting out here and heading to everyone's favorite boss in the game. <laughs> Uh, Umu. So we will yeah. hope to see a two cycle here from Kroshi um, and hopefully getting a good pattern as well from, from Umu. Yep. Also, uh, welcome in Raiders. How's it going? Um, so a couple more tricks that are coming up too. Now that we have C dash, um, we can do some Ooh. cool acid skips. Um, so we'll see Kuroshi go for an acid skip here shortly I'm into Fog Canyon. <laughs> A press Fog 
Very nice. First Very try. Nice. Oh, almost fell oh, down. Oh, yeah. That was close. Gets back up. <laughs> <laughs> and Croce getting the acid skip first try as well. And Very clean. And heading into Trinomi Dropper. Very nice Trinomi oh, Drop. Yeah. Could be taking a hit of damage there, but still on 4 HP. Uh, should only be doing one more intentional damage tank. Oh, not even going for the damage tank, actually. Opting to go around. We've got Kuroshi entering archives, opting to not bench before Umu. Um, I mean, if it goes well, it goes well, and if it goes bad, oh. it can go really bad, so... Please don't hit those jellyfish. <laughs> yeah, that was a little you scary. Don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that the hard way. <laughs> AP missing the, uh, the inventory drop there at the end of Peaks. <laughs> There is a possibility in that room when you hit those two Uma that they can fly through the wall and hit you. Oh, wonderful. Um, so you <laughs> generally don't want to go for that. I think you have enough soul entering most of the time anyways. Yeah. Um, and we saw Apress yeah. there taking that damage cycle that I mentioned slightly faster, and he can afford to do that being on 4 HP into this room. Oh, extra for Kroshi here in the first cycle, and gets the damage out too. Very nice. nice. Oh. Gonna have to get some dream nails in here. Yeah, taking uh, the inventory knockback again here to quickly set up a dream nail and dashing back through. Uh, no extras again. And a very nice two cycle. Very nice. Excellent. Very good. Don't yeah, think that was so... perfect RNG either, but it was uh, no extras, and I think uh, there were quite a few shorter attempts mm -hmm. too. Yeah, so. decent, decent RNG. Yeah. Um, it looks like we have about a two minute gap between our mm -hmm. runners, um, thanks to Apress dying to Watcher Knights. So I think it'll be hard for Apress to make that up at this point. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, unless, I mean, we did see Kuroshi struggling with Devout Skip a little bit in practice, but um, I think it, I think it would still be probably pretty hard mm -hmm. for Apress to make make up two minutes of time. And I do know AP has been practicing two cycle, but it's not quite as practiced as Kuroshi is, but mm. hopefully the practice will pay off here. Yeah. Still definitely cheering on both oh, no. racers. No, no, that no, happened to oh, me. no. <laughs> oh. I saw that coming. <laughs> oh jeez. I think uh, we'll see AP sit at the bench here, definitely yeah. not. Hopefully. Not wise to go for a two HP Umu fight in a turn. <laughs> yeah. Especially since there's definitely uh, some mandatory damage tanks that come into play for this fight, so. Yeah. Coming in at 2 HP is very scary. A press entering the Umu arena mm -hmm. as Kuroshi is exiting archives. Yeah. Oop. Um, and this is where our routes will diverge for these runners. So we will see Kuroshi head over to Queen's Garden and um, she's going to do an acid skip to get into Queen's Gardens and then proceed through to uh, make her way to Deep Nest to get to Hera. Here's a press two cycle. Oh. oh, very nice. Was that a triple? No. It was just a double no, and think, my uh, stream froze yeah. for a second. Yeah, okay. I think I had the same issue. <laughs> okay. I, <was> like, <laughs> I saw oh. the fireballs. The soul disappears, <laughs> so I think uh, he did get the, the full damage out. And yeah. no extras either for either cycle, which is nice. Very nice. And getting the two this cycle too. Clean. Very nice. Awesome. Very nice. Really good. Um, yeah, so then after this, we'll see Apress go to pick up Spore Shroom mm -hmm. and then head into Deep Nest that way. Um, and Kuroshi is fighting these Petras here. They're a little bit different from one Um The Petras have a bit more soul, or a bit, a bit more help. Uh, so you need to dash over to the left to do a nail hit on the left one. But making quick work of it. As yeah, very clean. He enters the, the Dreamer sequence here. Um, you also I'm... ideally don't want to take any damage uh, in the split so that you can yeah. um, avoid doing a den quit out, but 
Uh, it is an option if you're doing the yeah. skip. Uh, looks like Crow does have enough Geo, so we'll probably see her going for that. Shame for all that didn't quit out enjoyers in chat. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Taking a hard fall there, but very nice drop otherwise. Hmm. Um, so do you want to talk a little bit about why Apress is going to be picking up Spore Shroom? Sure. Um, so on 1432, uh, Spore Shroom is a little bit broken when it comes to THK. Um, when THK enters the Spore Cloud, even if he exits it, it actually continues to deal damage. And I believe Sawa was mentioning that um, every time THK changes state, so I think like if it goes from self-stab to, um, you know, like dashing or something, uh, it increases the amount of damage that Spore Shroom does um, for each tick of damage. So uh, you end up dealing a lot more damage uh, per per second uh, with Spore Shroom than Shaman Stone, but you do lose about 40 seconds entering uh, Deep Nest and going around the long way. Um, but you save back about 20 of those 40 seconds in the THK fight optimally. Uh, you will see uh, slightly different RNG uh, requirements. So uh, when you're going for a VS uh, fight, you're looking for a lot of dashes so that you can go for doubles. Uh, but with Sports Room, you actually want to see a lot of self-stabs and three slash attacks and even uh, getting parries is not the worst thing, but um, yeah. So very nice devout skip there from Kuroshi. Thank you very much, Sid, for the explanation. Sid is uh, one of the top, if not the top, Spore Shroom uh, any percent runners. Yeah. So it's very nice to hear uh, your insight on that. There's Spore Shroom for AP. Kuroshi taking some damage in Den, but up to full soul now, coming up to the last devout. And AP also doing that intentional damage tank there to hazard warp back to the left side of that room. And is entering deepness now. Very nice. I think we'll also be seeing AP going for a spider elevator. Uh, oh, so you'll yes. see him collecting some soul here. Uh, there is a kind of new development where you uh, pogo up some spiders and do some fireball stalls to uh, get through a room a little bit faster. I think it saves about two seconds if you get a good spawn. Um, but it's really fun to watch. So. Yeah, Spider Elevator is definitely mm -hmm. good content. And I think um, AP's screen is frozen, unfortunately. Yeah, that is yeah. what it looks like to me as Hopefully well. Hopefully his internet's not acting up. Yeah, go that would be his stream really quick. Oh, he is still alive. Oh, it also looks like uh, AP did gold uh, Sea Peaks and Umu, so that's Oh, very cool. nice. Yeah. Looks like we're... Oh. Oh. What? Wait, no, I think this is double correct.